I became a prosecutor, really it's something I've wanted to do for a long time in my life. Uh, when I was growing up, my parents were all about giving us values about justice, seeking fairness. And, and I remember very specifically my father gave me a book of quotations from Robert Kennedy and one of the ones that really stuck out to me was, we are called to tame the savageness of man and make gentle the life of this world. And when I had that in mind for I wanted a career that would go down that path, and on top of that I liked researching, I liked writing, I liked arguing, uh, law was something that is a natural fit for those kinds of things. Um, I sat down with a mentor of mine who was a county prosecutor, the elected county prosecutor, and he said, well, it sounds like you want to be a fighter, you want to be a litigator. So your decision that you have to make is, who do you want to fight for? You have a couple options. Go to Wall Street or K Street, and whoever gives you the most money, you fight for them. You have a nice car, you have a nice house, nothing else. You can go ahead and fight for who gets you the newspaper, gets you fame, fortune, that way as well. Or you can be like me, and you can be a county prosecutor. You won't have a nice house, you won't have a big house, you won't have a nice car. Um, but at the end of the day, you'll go home, you'll go to sleep, and you'll have a clear conscience that you fought for your community. I couldn't really turn back and think of anything else but being a prosecutor after he told me that. The best thing about being a prosecutor is it's the most unique part of our legal profession in America. Um, unlike every other lawyer in any other courtroom in this country, I have an obligation to be fair to the other side that's across from me. I have to give them all the evidence in my case, even if it's bad for my case. I can't hide things from them. I represent our community and not an individual, and I represent really our efforts to preserve the rule of law. Um, it's a unique calling, it's something that's challenging, but it's something that really makes this calling so worthwhile and it's really the height of the legal profession, I think. The most difficult thing is tied to what's the best thing. Uh, the uniqueness of our job means that it can be lonely sometimes. Um, there are times where I'm in court and I win a trial and I don't have someone there who shakes my hands and thanks me. Um, and also, when you're fighting for what's right, like you do as a prosecutor, that doesn't necessarily mean it's always popular. Um, I can remember one case in particular I went to go argue in the Supreme Court of Ohio for our office. And it's a massive courtroom. It has high ceilings. You have seven Supreme Court justices watching you. You have rows upon rows for spectators. And I walked into that courtroom, and the side for the defendant had rows of rows of rows of public defenders of lawyers from the largest law firms in this country, community activists. There were even people from my own law school, all of whom disagreed with me. On my side, it was me, fighting for accountability, for uh, hold a murderer accountable. You know, that kind of loneliness can be difficult, but it also, it shows that what we do is worthwhile and we do this because of what's right, not because of what's popular. You know, there was one in particular a couple of years ago, a murder case I was uh, part of the trial team for, and it was a, a senseless killing like so many of them are. This one involved the two defendants were teenagers. They set up a marijuana deal with another teenager, and that teenager brought some of his friends in the car to go meet these defendants. And unfortunately, the defendants opened up fire at the dealer, and in the crosshairs was the victim of the case. He was shot in his back and he died in the back of a car on the streets of Akron. A young person dying is always particularly impactful. It's tragic even more so than you can imagine in other situations. I was especially impacted in this one because the victim's parents had come to this country from another war-torn part of the world and they came here to live out the American dream. I was very sad that their child lost his life that way. But I was also very honored to be able to hold those murderers accountable and to really show them the best of the American justice system as they are here in this country now. I think that the number one misconception has to be that prosecutors are in this business just for high conviction rates and high sentences that are allowed by law. Um, in my circumstance, like I was talking earlier about the various ethical rules upon me, I have to be fair. Um, that means that if there's a case that isn't supported by evidence, I have to get it dismissed. 
That means if the defendant's background or what the victim wants in a case doesn't support a long sentence, then you ask for a lower sentence. And it's really about trying to be reasonable when you analyze evidence. Um, and we're not always overzealous out there.